so this is a 2010 Volkswagen Passat. I think this is the 1.9 or 2 litre TDI, uh, 140 horsepower. And we're just replacing this turbo core. Um, I can't show you the disassembly because I've already disassembled it and this is the new one that's back on. Um, you don't actually need to take this whole exhaust manifold off and you don't need to struggle with going underneath the car and undoing all the manifold block, um, bolts and whatnot. You can actually get to it from here. So I've replaced this one like this. It's an absolute pain in the butt to get to everything, um, but it definitely can be done. Um, you have to take the front of the turbo off first, the, the intake section, or sorry, exhaust, whatever you want to call it, the front part. Um, you at least know the bolts around it. You need a 10 mil spanner. You can turn the unit and then get to the back of the bolts and pull it off. Once it's off, you can use a 10 mil socket set to get to the outside of the other section around all these bolts. I think there's one, two, three, four, five. I think there's five or six bolts around there. And you can undo those. And a little tap and a wiggle and this will come out. And the new one to replace it is exactly the same. Just put it back in this way. Put the bolt, tighten all the bolts up. There's a, um, an oil pipe that goes to the underneath, which you won't be able to get to until you've taken the front part off. So yeah, it's all about just doing it in a very specific order. And if you do that correctly, and you want to struggle, <laughs> like me, then you'll be able to do it. So yeah, just assembling this back together now. I've got all these bolts to tighten around here. I've got to put the oil pipe back on the bottom and then I'll put the front cover back on again, do the bolts up and um, put the intake back in and that'll be that, good to go. It does take a good couple of hours, it's very fiddly. Um, you need a 10mm socket set, a couple of uh, minor basic tools um, and I recommend, I recommend getting yourself a few different sized um 10 mil spanners um some short ones some long ones some flexible ones it all really just helps with the process to get that it's, it's actually the, th the front bit of the turbo that's kind of annoying sorry about the mess in here um so yeah there's four four bolts that you need to get off for this so it's not not that difficult to get off to be honest it's just all very fiddly and a bit of a pain in the butt but yeah you definitely don't need any jacks um don't really need any special tools it's just just a bit fiddly so yeah hope this helps someone